is Megan Healy with bceagles.com. We are here today with field hockey head coach Kelly Doten. It was a tough weekend with a pair of overtime losses. What did you see that was different this week than last weekend? Uh, a couple things. Um, I think I thought we were on a pretty good roll there, you know, after the Carolina win and, um, you know, that weekend, you know, we had a lot of momentum going, you know, that was a good win against Northeastern and, um, but as you can see, the season's pretty long and, um, we just had a little bit of a, a speed bump that we encountered and, you know, two overtime losses can be not just, you know, losses on, on the schedule, but it can kind of break your heart a little bit, you know, so, um, the players, you, you could see that in their faces after the loss on Sunday against UMass that, um, they were down, you know, um, but I just, I just think, you know, the two things that we didn't bring was, you know, our tenacity on individual defense, you know, that let us down a little bit, that urgency. And um, we faced two really tough teams. UVA was, um, you know, a match that um, we thought we, we could get a win at home. And, and they came out and probably played one of their best games that they have all season. And, you know, then UMass, we just caught them at the wrong time. You know, they, they're building momentum. They, they came in with a lot of heart and wanted to win that game. And uh, we didn't. You know, and we don't have time to do that. You can't do that in this league. And, you know, we paid the price for it at the end, but it's one weekend. You know, we got Duke coming up, and, you know, that's our focus right now. This week sees a game at number two Duke. What are you expecting from them on Friday? Duke's very good. Um, they are very well coached. Um, they have two of, the, two of the best coaches in the country. Um, great coaching staff, great players. Um, their system is, is very good. They have one of the toughest schedules and, um, you know, one of the highest ranked teams in the country for, for a good reason. So um, we're expecting, you know, a really good match with them. They're going to be bringing their A game. Um, and, you know, we're going to have to bring ours. And Duke's a tough place to play um, down there on, on their home field. But, um, you know, hopefully we're going to have a really good week of practice and, and turn this thing around and go down and, and give them a good match on Friday. We're now at the halfway point of the season. What aspects of the team's performance so far have stood out to you, both in terms of areas of improvement and exceeding expectations? Yeah, I think w we are continuing to grow, you know, regardless of the record. You know, it's, again, we face some really tough competition, and, you know, we beat some really good teams, and we've lost to some really good teams. So, you know, just, you know, watching the, infil the film and the ability to evaluate their performance individually and then collectively as a whole, Tactically, we're growing, uh, but we're still going to be stressing the defense because, in the end, that's going to what that's going to propel us, you know, further in the ACC championship and hopefully in the NCAA championship. And, you know, each week we're trying to correct the mistakes and our weaknesses. And I think if we keep continue to do that, you know, the record's going to reflect in in the end of the season.